Here we are at example eight from our 5.17 notes. We're asked to simplify the following expression. Uh, luckily, we start off with one that's kind of nice and easy. We notice that we just have this entire thing raised to the zero power. So that entire first piece, uh, this guy right here, is just going to come out to be one. So that's kind of nice. Something easy to start out with. Uh, for this second part, what we're going to do instead of distributing that negative exponent like we've seen in the past, uh, a nice little rule, anytime that you have an entire quantity raised to a negative power like this, uh, what you can actually do, this is again, one of those shortcuts that you can tinker and toy with, is actually flip this. So pretty much you're just gonna throw the four on top, the three on the bottom, and then instead of a negative exponent, we can make him a positive exponent. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same rules as you're following with the definition. Uh, you're just kind of doing it in a different order is all. Over here on the far right side, uh, it, notice how we have a negative that's being squared. Uh, this will eventually come out to be a positive, so this is not going to be a negative. And then we notice that our x has a 3 as its exponent being raised to another power 2. Uh, again, power to a power, you are multiplying those two powers. So in this case, you get x to the 6th. So just kind of simplifying things up a little more. We'd end up with 1. We don't really have to worry too much about him. Uh, this 4 thirds raised to the second power, you can distribute that squared item and get 4 squared over 3 squared. You still have x to the 6th, just drop him, can't really be combined with much. And then, kind of just simplifying this up, 4 squared is just 16, 3 squared is just 9, and then your x to the 6th just drops. So there is our simplified version. You can absolutely feel free to, uh, you know, distribute this item in and then swap the locations because they'll have negative exponents, you will end up with the exact same thing. Uh, it's just a nice little shortcut. All right, so again, that is example eight from our 5.1 set of notes.